Hey guys, take a control the video for you guys. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to fix your iPhone if the control center is not working on your iPhone. Now, there's a couple reasons why the control center may not be working when you pull down or push up, slide up from your older phones. And that could be an issue, but it's a simple fix on the software itself. So let's get started. So the very first thing I like to do whenever you're having issues with the control center, because it's a touch screen problem, most likely if you're pulling it down or pulling it off from uh, older phone, you want to make sure your screen is clean. And what happens is if there's dust, oil, or anything on your screen itself, it could actually impact the slide itself and the actual display itself. So make sure your screen is clean. Now, the next thing you want to check in your settings of your iPhone is go into your settings and the actual control center settings itself here. And you want to ensure that access within apps is turned on. I usually like to just turn it off as if you turn it off, you'll see here, now I don't get the control center. When I pull down, I get that whole menu. So I want to turn it back on. So then make sure that is turned on as well. And if you need to enable some of the features, like more controls, you can click on the eye icon here to add those controls as well. So make sure that is turned on. Now, after you have done that, the next thing you want to do is force restart on your iPhone. So in order to do a force restart, you're going to do volume up, volume down, and then hold the side button like this and this will work for our iPhone 8 and above. So I'm going to keep on holding the side button here just like that until the screen goes completely black and we're going to wait till the Apple logo reappears at that point I'll let go of that button. So it's volume up and volume down one after another you press and release and then hold that side button till the screen goes completely black. On an iPhone 7 if you have in a 7 plus you want to hold the volume down button and the side button together until the screen goes black and then if you have an iPhone uh, 6s or older you want to hold the home button and then the power button on the side until the screen goes black as well and once you're back on you should be able to get back to your phone and hopefully the control center now it is working for you now this method of force restart will not delete any of your personal data like apps photos videos just like as you can see here, everything is here now after you have done that the next thing you want to do if you're still having issues is go into your settings here and we want to ensure that voiceover is turned off by going into settings accessibility and then we want to look for voice over and we want to make sure that is turned off or disabled and the reason is if you have voice over turned on it interferes with certain functionality like the control center here so you want to make sure that option is disabled or grayed out just like that now after you have done that the next thing you want to check out in your settings here in your main settings you want to go to face id and passcode and once you do that, you want to check out a couple settings here. But the most important settings that you want here is you want to ensure that Control Center is enabled if you're using Face ID and uh, Passcode. By default, it should be turned on, as you can see here. But ensure that it is turned on for you as well. So it should be green like that. Now, after that, the next thing you want to do in order to troubleshoot if you're still having issues is resetting all the settings. So in the settings, app here we're going to go to general we'll go all the way down here where it says transfer reset iphone we're going to click on the very first reset option and we're going to reset all settings so basically all settings are settings that are related to your network settings so if you had to save wi-fi password bluetooth devices those will get reset your keyboard dictionary your home screen layout and any look uh, resetting any location privacy setting and when you do that it generally will take about a minute or two your personal data like photos, videos, apps will not be deleted. They'll all be there. It's only the settings themselves. And it's a necessity when it comes to fixing your control center not working that you reset all of your settings. Now, after you have done that and it, let's say it's still not working, the very last and the final thing you can do is updating your phone to the latest software version. Again, by being in the settings here, you're going to want to go to general and then software update. Make sure you're connected to a strong Wi-Fi or cellular data and then of course your phone is at least 50% or more and if there's an update out it will show up here and you'll click on download and install that latest update and the reason why you want to do that is that previous update might have caused the issue with the control center is no longer working it hopefully after the software update it works for you so that's it for all the troubleshooting steps I hope control center menu is now working for you on your iPhone if so please make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys the next time